Back the blue, the signs, the shouts are everywhere. When a police officer or firefighter has been hurt or dies protecting us, we want them all to know we support them, no matter what the controversy. And it does bring some comfort to their families, partners, and friends. But have you noticed those signs and shouts have largely disappeared with the controversy surrounding the seriously troubled police and fire pension fund? I'm sure some would prefer it all just go away. We look bad. It's embarrassing. It'll cost an arm and a leg to make right true, but that is what must be done. We have worked hard to become what the Puritan leader John Winthrop called the shining city on a hill, but Dallas's treatment of its retiring defenders in blue has dulled the patina on that city. The first priority of any government is the safety of its citizens, the security of their possessions, and yet the men and women who kept their pledge to us years ago to do just that, who ran into the burning buildings and toward the firing gunmen, cannot now depend on the rest of us to do what we pledged and in their retirement come to their defense. As Mayor Mike Rawlings has said, fixing this will be painful, but something must be done now. Clearly we know how to dream big. Look at the Arts District, the deck part. Downtown is more vibrant than ever. Surely the minds responsible for those transformations can be marshaled to repair the pension fund and make the phrase, back the blue, stand for something more than mere words. You can comment on Facebook. Look for WFAA-TV.